Welcome to another video from East Beds Bushcraft, the home of Hashtag Survival. Uh, this is going to be a short video um, which is based on the uh, subject of prepping. Now, my whole family are preppers, we have been for years, and I'm not going to get into the huge um, area of prepping. Um, because some people I know like to prep for the zombie apocalypse etc but prepping is not a bad thing I mean people prep and have prepped for centuries uh, prepping by storing food over the winter uh, until you know the, the next bountiful harvest uh, the following year etc etc uh, my grand grandparents would have had a pantry where they would have done pickling and preserves etc because it's all prepping and I grew up with that kind of prepping philosophy of uh, you know store things make things last and it's also I feel part of my in, uh, interest in bushcraft helps towards my prepping and vice versa but one of the subjects uh, to do with prepping is also about when you start looking at um, worst case scenarios and things which is a huge subject if you look on social media on any of the prepping sites um, yeah, especially like on Facebook etc and time and time again you get the same questions thrown up about what kind of scenario do you prep for what uh, type of uh, things do you put in your prep you know what kind of things do you carry in your uh, EDC your everyday carry bag and so forth and so on and so on and so I thought I would just do a quick video on funny enough what's been on film for the past uh, minute or so uh, and that's my new mountain bike now I say my new mountain bike because my old one was pretty worn out and I thought okay let's get myself a new bike but as a prepper um, I'm by the way I'm I am by no means one of your gun toting uh, zombie knife wielding preppers I'm just a what I'd like to think, like most preppers, practical preppers, uh, we're not all nutcases, but one of the subjects that comes up time and time again is do you bug in or do you bug out in a worst case scenario situation? Um, well, bugging in is a damn good idea, especially in the UK, and I can go into that uh, in more detail in future videos, but if you were to bug out, then well, what choices have you got? You've either got motor vehicle. Well, I've got vans for carrying stuff. I've got four by fours. Um, you know, you got you can people could use motorbikes. Obviously, uh, I live in the countryside, so we need to. If if you can't use roads, if roads are blocked, inaccessible, whatever. Uh, then you can obviously go on foot, or you could use off-road bikes, and of course, it, you can't exclude the fact that you can use. A good old-fashioned mountain bike, an off-roader, unlike your road bikes, your racing bikes, which uh, aren't built for this. Um, I love my mountain bike because it gets me out and about and on-road and off-road and it's just superb. So I wanted to get a new one that would facilitate certain factors required in a bug-out situation. And so this is the one I've gone for. So let's take a closer look. This is the Carrera, or Carrera, yeah, Carrera Hellcat 29, uh, which I got from Halfords. There are other stores you can get your bikes from. And so why did I choose this? Well, I thought um, it was a good price. Not to be funny, it was a good price. Uh, it turns out I think generally they come in around £350, which uh, I'm by no means a professional mountain biker so you know with the uh, carbon fiber uh, frames etc etc and I don't know what um, I need a good I don't even know if this is a mid-range bike but a good bike which is sturdy not too heavy um, and is going to last that's the main thing now the problem with bugging out and the problem with bikes is that you get punches there's certain ways you can get around that and what drew me to the Carrera Hellcat was the fact that the tires on this are I'm going to swing this round Ugh. I don't know if you can read this they've got puncture protection okay so what I was told is that the actual tire itself down the center of the tire it's it reinforced 
to prevent puncture and as well as that I have got the uh, tyres full of slime if you're familiar with slime it's like a uh, sludge that you put in the tyres if you get a puncture then it uh, a moderately you know not too tyre ripping puncture it will fill it up and you can keep on going so for a bug out bike the tyres are very important because uh, hopefully although I do carry a puncture repair kit um, but I really don't want to have to repair tyres on the go if I don't have to um, it's got that added tyre protection also chose this because it's front suspension I had one with front and rear suspension before but to be honest with you I'm thinking it was just getting a bit too bouncy um, having that rear suspension and I've spoken to friends of mine that have both rear suspension and bikes without rear suspension and I thought no let's go for one without rear suspension and so that I've gone for this again simply because it has no rear suspension um, also one of the things that I liked it's actually only got 16 gears uh, on it instead of 21 or more we just count this down here we have what we got one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight and two on the front so uh, excuse the mud by the way on the bike obviously I have been using it which is great I uh, can't do a review if I haven't used the bike um, and the 16 gears is fantastic where I live in the wonderful Shire of Bedfordshire uh, we don't have massive mountains um, so you know we're not having to deal with great altitudes when using the bike yes we have hills yeah we have steep um, places now and again but mostly around here it's it's reasonably flat it's not as flat as Lincolnshire but you know 21 gears no need over complicating things 16 more than enough and to be fair around here I don't think I've used more than three um, most of the time I don't even change the gear when I'm riding around in my local area so benefits of this bike so far for me uh, are the puncher proof tires 16 gears and just the front suspension rather than having the rear suspension now this bike has also got something that I haven't had on my previous bikes uh, which are the disc brakes now I haven't had disc brakes on a bike before but these aren't mechanical disc brakes these are oil filled hydraulic brakes so that's something new to me and so far I'm finding them fantastic uh, I've notice that the right one has got a little bit soft um, so that needs to be sorted out when I take it back for a service I could do it myself uh, I believe it's a very straightforward job of just taking this plug out raising the bike up so that this is the highest point you can get a reservoir which screws in you put some mineral oil in pump it till any excess air comes out of the line that will start to then firm up uh, and then you release you know, you know, remove the reservoir and replace the plug and hey presto you, your brakes are sorted so that's only a very minor thing um, and one other thing saddles the saddle on this I hate bike saddles that are so hard that they give you a sore backside this one I've actually found in recent years I normally change the saddles I'm not going to change this one because I actually think the saddles really well made um, it's actually comfortable I've been riding it for about a month now and no I have not had a bike before which I haven't seriously considered changing the saddle on so yeah overall I am going to at this present time and this is early days as a bug out bike or a bike just for your own personal leisure use the Carrera Hellcat seems to be a pretty nice piece of kit solidly built I've got no issues with it after riding it for a month um, no it's great nice wide handlebars handlebars are pretty wide on it uh, my other bike had a, a narrower bars I'm going to put the handle extensions on it because I like to have the option to change my hand grip because uh, uh, I don't know personally I, I've got arthritic thumb joints and I've also got a snap ligament in one of my wrists and which I find that riding the bike 
uh, can cause me a little bit of discomfort if I'm just staying in the same position. So inevitably, even on the this this new bike, I'm, I'm riding it to, in the normal position, and then I'm finding I'm dropping back and going <clears throat> into this position to try and just take some ease off pressure off my wrist. So riding it, so I'm just literally holding it just there on the palm of the hand, just below the the knuckles, and then going back into the full grip. And I do want to get the option for the handle grip here and you can go right over the top so you can have the lower nappa so I'm going to get the bar extensions on this bike because I think that will just be more comfortable for me for general riding but so there you go so if anybody is interested in getting the Hellcat uh, the Carrera Hellcat uh, there's the bad boy just there so far so good so as a bug out bike with your backpack on your bug out pack and wanting some transport that's more than your feet but not a motorized vehicle that's what I've gone for and I'm going to do another review on this bike in six months in a year see how it's performed see if it's true about the punch proof tires or whether in six months from now I'm saying that these are a joke I keep getting punches and it's like they're not making any difference well we'll find out I've got my fingers crossed hopefully the punch protection on the tyres is going to uh, do exactly what it says on the packet and I'm going to have minimal uh, maintenance on those tyres at all. So, Halfords, Carrera, Hellcat, there's my review. So for the moment, if I was marking it at from 1 to 10, well there's a woodpecker, I don't know if you heard that, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being an absolute pile of pants, 10 being the best thing since sliced bread, at the moment I'm really happy with it. The hand position for the riding is just something that I'm going to just add on myself, so I can't complain about that at all. Um, the feel and ride of the bike, it's silent, it's fast, I love the 29 inch wheels on it. Um, so at the moment I'm giving this bike a full 10. It's got everything I need out of a mountain bike for the leisure riding that I do and if I needed to use it as a bug out bike. Just to add on to my first video, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a completely flat back tire. And uh, the reason for that was because, yay, I went, I managed to get a thorn in my back tire coming down a hill uh, over across the fields. I don't know if you can see the water tower up there, but up near the water tower I could hear this little click, 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 click and so I pulled over, thorn. Okay, fine, I've got puncture protection tyres and they're full of slime. Well, that's what I was told because I'd requested from Halfords to put slime in the tyres and I was assured they have. I haven't checked that yet, but I will check it when I get home. But uh, I've not had a puncture happen quite so quickly or easily before when I've had tyres with uh, slime in them let alone these tyres that are meant to be puncture protected any hoozy there you go right so I'm on my way back walking back to Castle Rouderskeg probably another kilometre um, and the old adage of uh, if you want a job doing do it yourself comes to mind I am going to obviously check my tyres when I get back, take the valves out and actually see if they did put any slime in the tyres. Uh, now it's fair to say that although I got a thorn in the tyre, it was just off centre. Perhaps that just missed the tyre protection being just off centre of the tyre, but I still feel it went down much faster than I'm used to when a tyre's got slime in it. So uh, I'll get back, I'm going to pop the valves out and see if any green sludge comes out, which it should do. If not, I'm going to be a bit feed off with the, the Halfords that I went to. Um, now, the thing is, it's very straightforward for me to fix a puncture. But this bike is, uh, say, a month old, and it's meant to have unlimited puncture repairs on their, uh, on their sales pitch. So you feel it obliged to take it back and get it done even though it's a job I could probably have done myself in 10 minutes but you know I'm a bit peed so 
we shall see, especially if there's no slime in the tyres. Right, catch you later. Back, back at base, and you can see how flat this tyre is. Well, it's as flat as a tyre can get. Uh, as far as the tyre stroke inner tube, I'm assuming this is an inner tube tyre. Halfords assured me, after I requested that I had both of them filled with slime, that they had filled them with slime. Uh, I've taken the valve out. Look at that. Get it focused. Clean as a whistle. If there was slime in this wheel, there would be green sludge all over it. And I know they use the green slime because they've got a dirty great big barrel of it behind the counter. Uh, so my bike is going back to Halfords and they're going to fill these tyres. Not only are they going to fix a the puncture, they're going to fill them up with slime like I requested in the first instance. And there we go. Oh, the joy of the joy of service. Right. The bike has been, the Carrera Hellcat has been back to Halfords. And Halfords apologised profusely about the fact that my tyres, my inner tubes, wheels, whatever you want to call them, had no slime in as I had requested. And so they have fixed the puncture, pumped in the slime in both of them, and they also uh, bled the front brake, which was a bit spongy. So the, uh, the spongy brake. I noticed has now firmed up which is great so thank you Halfords you have now sorted out my career a Hellcat and uh, we shall see how the review goes hopefully now if I get another thorn in my tire I'm not going to be stuck kilometers away from where I live I still love the bike there's nothing wrong with the bike. I'm still at this stage giving it a full 10 out of 10 for value, build quality, comfort. Uh, can't knock it at the moment. Disappointed with the fact that I got a puncture because I was relying on the fact that the tires were puncture resistant. And I was told the puncture resistance was down the center of the tire and the uh, thorn that I took out was more over the one edge one edge so okay I'll give it I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say okay so maybe the thorn went through the tire at a point uh, that isn't as puncture resistant but still they should have been full of slime and they weren't so can't fault the bike for that hopefully now everything's sorted so I shall do a further review uh, maybe six months to a year down the line as I said and see if this bike works out to be a good bike as a choice for bugging out. Thank you. Catch you again soon. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to the East Beds Bushcraft channel. See you all again soon.